Hello and welcome to today's edition of Insider Tips to Everyday Joy. Now you might notice a little difference today as usually you hear from me in written version on the blog uh, on my website but I wanted to um, expand the way I share you know joyful tips with you guys so today I'm starting my first um, interview in the interview series and we're having the lovely Linda Anderson on with us today so welcome Linda. Hi Lynn. How are you doing? I'm good thank you. Excellent. Thank you for being my uh, guinea pig and uh, being the, the first expert on my interview series that's awesome. Um, okay, so I just want to share. So the purpose of the uh, the interview series is because you know I have lots of you know ideas and tips and stuff on how to um, how to help people have more joyful lives. But there are so many tools and techniques and stuff out there, and I come across lots of women just like you who have amazing um, talents and that could help um, people kind of getting in touch with their joy. So that's why I wanted to have you on here today, so you can share more about that in a second. Um, so I'm just going to um, tell you guys a little bit about Linda before um, before I uh, get her giving us the, the, the down low on what she's going to share today. So um, Linda's an EFT um, and tapping coach and, and mindset magician um, and she works with transformational um, coaches and, and people in the kind of like healing professions like holistic therapists um, and she kind of helps them take their business to the next level release their fears around sales and marketing uh, such that they can actually enjoy, you know, sharing their gifts out in the world and make a great living doing what they love. Um, so is that pretty much got that in a nutshell? Yeah, great. Okay. Um, she normally works with um, like uh, people, entrepreneurs, you know, um, in, in that kind of field. But I've got Linda on here today because what she teaches can actually be applied to any area of your life. Um, and in all different kinds of situations. So um, first of all, I'm going to get Linda to actually share with us um, what is EFT? EFT. Yeah. Well, tap the tapping thing, yes. Tapping thing, tapping thing, yes. Tapping, yep, tapping, yes. <laughs> it really is when you first see it, isn't it? It's crazy. Anyway. Right. Right. So you come out of the life and come back into the mind of the soul. So you know, you get access to the thinking part of your mind. Right. Um, because when stuff kicks off and we're feeling particularly worried or we're upset or we're angry, we're, we're going into a really tense, and the body will tell you, a really tense nervous state. Yeah. And we don't have access to all our higher functions. We're not actually in love ourselves, we just feel really triggered. Yeah. So when you. Right, okay, yeah. So this is so the way I kind of think about it and just so everybody knows, like Linda and I have done work together, I've experienced EFT, I know how powerful it is. Um, so for me, like, you know, it, it, if I would think about it really simply, it's like basically when I get overwhelmed with emotion of some sort that I'm just like, and it makes me go, oh, you know, yeah. that's when I kind of would use use EFT to actually kind of allow the release of that emotion. So like you said, I can actually start thinking as opposed to kind of being wrapped up in my emotions. In the moment, it's really powerful. You can calm yourself down. Yes. If you want to do some deeper work to really clear out the root of why am I reacting so intensely? Yeah. And sometimes our, we know our reaction is being off the scale. Yes. That's a sure sign that we're not just reacting to what's in front of us. It's something that got buried in the subconscious that is really just getting triggered and we're, we're feeling scared or angry or really, really upset. Yes. And the tapping takes the edge off it. Um, but you can go much deeper and, and do some of the clearing. Yes, that's right. Yeah, exactly. Because and you've talked to me about that before. So yeah, in the moment, it's great as a, a like a relief, a kind of quick relief tool. Yeah. But like you said, if you want to, if you keep, if you've seen a pattern, for instance, in yeah. your behaviour, and you're just like, you know, that seems like over overblown kind of a reaction for what's actually happening. Then you know, you could actually go and see someone like yourself to work a bit more on the deeper what's actually really going on underneath there. Right. And I have questions for me too. We can't see our own stuff. It's like too close to us. Yes, my favorite. Actually, you gave me my favorite. Um, the quote about that. It's like you know, you don't real. You know, a fish doesn't know it's in water until it gets taken out of water. That's yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. I love that. I love that analogy. Um, so, would you mind just sharing with us? I mean, how did you come across EFT? You know, and how do you use it on a daily basis? Um, well, I came across it about 
few years ago when um, I was looking for something to help me heal the roots of an illness, the emotional roots of an illness. Because I really think, you know, that the body is the final destination for when, when we're having uh, upset on the level that we're not addressing. Right. So I, I was really ill, and I was looking for something to help me move beyond that, and that's when I sat in the cafe. And up to that point, I'd been living the life other people expected of me. Right. And I, knew it wasn't, I knew it wasn't fulfilling my purpose. Mm-hmm. So I was doing work that I absolutely hated and I was barely making enough to get by. And eventually I did get really ill. So the tapping has been my saviour. It completely transformed my life. So many things have changed then, not just in uh, work and health, but in every area. I'm much more confident. Mm-hmm. And, and now I feel I'm living intentionally. I'm living on purpose. And I feel, you know, I may, I'm able to step out and make the difference I want to make. So it's a transformational tool. Um, I use it on a daily basis. I tap in the mornings. I tap uh, yep. just before I get up, before I go to bed at night. Okay. I find myself automatically tapping whenever I notice I'm in that triggered emotional state, you know, where I'm really anxious or upset about something. I right. I take away to manage my emotions in the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, I set aside time sometimes to do some deeper work, and you can do a lot for yourself, but like you've just said, you know, we can't actually see all of it. Yeah. We're close to it. So mm. I also have regular sessions with um, colleagues. Oh, great. Okay. Um, so that's a really good um, – so what I'd love to share now is kind of how how can EFT help us live, you know, um, a more joyful life? So one of the things I always talk about is um, more joy, more of the time. Yeah. Um, but sometimes, you know, a lot of the things that people kind of, you know, feed back to me is like, well, Lynn, how do I do that when, you know, uh, you know, my, my boyfriend's, you know, gone and made me angry or, or, you know, I've had this thing happen at work and I'm just like, you know, uh, and I'm feeling upset or I'm feeling resentful or, you know, and that's kind of like, and, and that's one of the reasons I brought you on. Cause for me, there's a clear connection, but you know, if you could kind of share like, so how, how does that look from your view? Well, I, I love your analysis. Being a wellspring of joy within it, that joy starts from here, mm. and through it, mm-hmm. and flow it. It's not dependent on it out there. Yes. So that's not the way we're, we're used to looking at things. And it's like um, it's like love as well. Love is coming from here, from mm-hmm. the heart, and it comes through us. We don't have to get love, and we can't get joy. We have to allow. Yes. To be in that calm, grounded space with the heart open. Mm. Um, so that we can allow joy to come through. Mm. And the tapping helps in that sense that the wellspring sometimes gets clogged up with all those emotions we've just been talking about. Yeah. You know, and we think when that person changes, then I'll be happy. Mm. But when this happens, then I can feel joy. Then I'll be joyful. But actually, the truth is always here now. So tapping and calming yourself down and releasing some of those intense negative emotions that so you can step back and see whatever the situation is out there more clearly yeah you, you come back into who you really are mm. your natural state of being which is love and joy yes you know that that's great actually because that, that really resonates with kind of what i talk about in joy school is that you know we're humans we ha- emotion and, and you know, positive and negative emotion is part of our experience so, you know, when we're having those upsets and the anger and all, you know, that stuff we don't necessarily want, we actually have to allow the emotion. And I think EFT is one, a wonderful tool to actually help us allow the emotion and to release it like you were talking about. Yeah. And then, as you say, like that means that we allow, we can release that debris, which means we have much better access into that well of joy, you know, so it helps us, like, you know, um, connect back in much quicker and easier. Yes. Oh, yes. Good one. Yes, exactly. Because that's what it does. You're right. Joy flows through us and out of us. Yes. Perfect. So um, we talked about before, I was just wondering if there's a little technique or tool that maybe you could share with us so that when we're, you know, in those moments, we can actually, you know, maybe use EFT to help us. Yeah, sure. So obviously you can tap. You don't mind people seeing you tapping. Yes. <laughs> I know. I, I secretly do that one. I was like, it's like, yes, nothing going on here, nothing happening. <laughs> okay. Um, a really simple way to kind of just see ways to use it is to be um, tapping on your fingertips. So that if there are points on each nail bed, in the corner of the nail bed next to the thumb on the same hand. Okay. So right there. Yes, okay. Yeah, and you can do one hand or both hands and 
if you're in a public kitchen having to behind your back or under the table or in your pocket, nobody knows you need your meat. Um, but it does bring you back into that more calm, grounded state where you've got access to all your faculty materials. Yes. Yes. Yes, and actually, I have to say, I've used this. You know, as you've shared this with me before, and uh, I've actually used this technique. Um, I had to give a, you know, I was at a networking event, had to do my like my three minute, you know, spiel. Um, and that was early days, and I was really nervous about it, you know. So I had my I had my hand down, yeah, like by the side, you know, like doing it down here. I'm like, well, Linda would be so proud, you know. <laughs> it was good actually. So yeah. So I can vouch for that technique being one, and it actually made me feel more grounded, um, you know, released release some of the the nervousness and the anxiety, and actually, you know, helped me with my my talk that day. So, um, yeah, that's right. You're right, and that's the yes, and you're right. It's that whole you know, flight, flight, and just all the anxiety. Just we get stuck in our emotions, and we're not using our brain. We're not seeing things clearly. You know, we can't actually step back and be objective about a situation. Um, you know, when we're kind of in that, in the mire of our emotion, like, you know, it is very hard for us to you know, allow that joy to flow through. So, yeah, completely, 100% agree with you on that one. Um, so that's a great tool. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Um, so if people want to find out more about EFT, if it's the first time they've heard about it or they're interested in finding out how they could do that kind of deeper stuff with you, what, um, what could they do next? Yes. Um, there's a freebie tab on there that's got some couple long videos and some downloads. Um, I'm also going to give you access to uh, a short couple long that I created to help you clear some of that debris from the well, so you can yes. be more open to joy and have a more joyful day. Yes, wonderful. Yes, and I'll put a link um, to that video um, beneath this this video. So um, have a look for that there. Um, yeah, so if you guys, you know, don't actually know how to do e EFT and would really love to learn, you know, Linda's actually gonna, got a video when shows you and she'll talk you along so you actually know, not that one, this point here. <laughs> um, so she, you can actually learn how to do it and seriously, it's um, a great um, tool to have in your toolbox. Um, so wonderful. So um, great, we've shared some tools, you know, we know how EFT can now help with us, you know, to have experience more joy more of the time. So Linda, thank you so much for coming on today and being my first guest in this interview series. Wonderful. Um, so if everyone else um, will share those links so that you can go and find out more about EFT and practice it yourself and use that, you know, so you can increase your joy. Um, and keep an eye out. I'll be doing more of these interview series as we go along, bringing in other experts so they can share their tips and tools um, so that you can use them. So thank you very much again for joining us today. Um, this is the latest episode of Insider Tips to Everyday Joy. Um, I'm Lynn Hall, the Joy Lady, and I can't wait to see you again next time. All right, thanks, Linda. Take care, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.